I help you, definitely get it. But then, I think Ember's a bit defensive here because of the Tuska spirit breaker threats around the map. So I think the one that should match up with BDM. But uh, we'll run through the teams very quickly. We also previously known as London C for you guys just watching. Uh, it is now 1-0 in favor of Vega as a PO3. Game 1 was pretty nail biter until the eventual rampage. But uh, now we're in game number 2. We have Badara playing that queen in going off lane, I mean safe lane. We have uh, Skank S2, also known as Skank as Armor tells me. Uh, yeah. Kiza, got that Shadow Fiend. We'll have uh, maybe next time. Breaker, and we have uh, Skylock on that off lane Tusker. Things happen. Yeah, on and Vega. Yep. Well, we've got Seema the Slayer the on the games. Dazzle. We've got Drofta, seconds. and we've got Solo on that Lena. We're going to be having no one on Ember Spirit. Pasha Bashu on Sven, which someone needs to tell me what that actually means in Russian. I've been told it means something very rude, but I don't know if I'm being trolled. And then Mag on the Earthshaker. So. There is a Counter Strike called Pasha Biceps. That's a good name. I like it. I like yeah. the Pasha. It's just He's fun to say. Pop. I mean, if he has biceps, I think people love biceps. Um, we'll talk about that next time. But um, I think <laughs> this bottom lane is going to be really rough for the Earthshaker. It looks like he's facing up against Queen of Pop, uh, Queen of Pain. Uh, Queen of Pop. And yeah, Queen of Pop. Uh, that's actually, you, I didn't know if you knew, but Queen of Pain's singing career took off Lost Patch. But anyway, she is going to harass the crap out of him. Yeah. And she has a Bane there to help out if she wants. I think she can just solo this lane and have I, the Bane rotate. I honestly don't think... Uh, one finisher per... Oh, gosh. Yep. Yeah, like he'll get experience. Vicious spam from... Yeah. And this is the oddest lane I've ever seen. Breaker support. I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve here. He's gonna lose a lot of life if he gets caught on the wrong things. Oh, interesting heal plan. Uh, whoa, get all of them as well. Maybe next time. Quite a bit of hurt here. No stout shield as well. Yeah, I think he's trying to do the traditionally... Uh, it was happening last patch, but it's really popular now, is the whole... You stick a support mid to get some harassment on the opposing mid, so your mid gets that first wave. But as we point out, you stuck a melee there, and yeah, Ember's melee, but Spirit Breaker, I mean... What's he gonna do? 17% bash chance them to death? Like, it's pseudo random now. So, anyway. Oh, but gosh, Mandra is already going on Mag. She's actually not auto attacking him, so he's gonna be fine. But, yeah, as you said, he should get experience here using Fissure, but it's not a fun lane. <laughs> ah, he's packing a lot of, uh, packing a lot of regen. I, I don't think he died. I mean, he's playing very early, aggressive early because he's 12, and a creeping can kill him at level 2. So right now you already see he's uh, popping the clarity, popping the salve, and he'll keep on dropping those fissures. And when he gets near to his tower, they'll have the enchant totem for. Very good for him. Because, uh, the waves have been warded out for the. So the Earthshake at least gets himself a level three out of this. So I, I will say. Yeah, and Tuscal should have the exact same ability with Ice Shards, you can block the creeps in, so having a bit of trouble there. Spirit Breaker though, he's got made two stacks already for Shadow, he's gonna pick himself up a bounty. He's got charge online, um, he needs, nope, he needs to get lucky, but... Going, oh, he's going mm -hmm. on Lina, okay, they don't have mana though, oh wait, there's a mango for this. Oh, the Centaur, okay, good, good stun, and now that's what, 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 right on their ass. Maybe next time. <laughs> So good for this. Nice Asha bashes him with the shield. The L and easy, easy. Left. I'm gonna kill. So he tries to charge out of that. Doesn't get it. And Solo gets that kill as well. Boy, it's not carry. That's great stuff for Vega. Already five hundred dollars in the bag. Yeah. No one. He's going in. He's gonna lash up that Shadow Fiend. Good. You know, talking about timing is the uh, you wait for the Shadow Fiend to drop, then you. Get if you get boots before SF, then death. Yeah, although Shadow Queen's about to have a ball, if they manage to land this charge, which they will, I think the charge is going to land before the uh, the cloak is back on cooldown. And so they could go for uh, a yes, dive yes, here. Yes. Are they going? He. Okay. I think even with Leash, you go for it with Razors, but he only had enough mana for one and uh, a no, little the bit thing is Leash before you even. There will be no lockdown here, just walk away and you take a look. Not worth the risk. I think good to give him a little bit of a scare, and now- Oh, that's the scary change you talked about though, but now the auto attack is there, oh. Yeah, really good job by Kiso there, remaining calm. I know a lot of people try to, you know, turn their hero around when they're taking the Searing Chains, ready to walk away, but he just yeah, stayed you, calm. You, you don't push it. 
charges for these. It's only level two flame god, so it can't exactly absorb everything Dyer's that the SF is um, given out. And actually, this is really awful for no one. Although I don't think this uh -huh. charge will last. No, he's going for it. Do they have backup? They, they have the shadow strike, auto attacks. They, they need a bash, I think. No, they nah, should be able to do can't. it. Oh, one more. They oh, should have it. Yeah, tango? it'll pop. Okay. Keep tying up the kill score. Really nice job, though. And four minutes in, and, and no one making a light mistake in the middle. Uh, but. He should be fine now, uh, but now, now that he has lost to the SF and uh, kills, he should not be a... There should yeah. not be a kill without him, but um, the top lane first blood was definitely so attacked. good. For and I think they have a really nice opportunity here on Golden Boys. Radiance Mag is really vulnerable, they have great vision on him, they... Might, it's a bit dangerous to dive him, but again, if he's playing up in the lane, which he has been a little bit, they have great opportunities to charge him and get easy kills on that Earthshaker. Problem um, is, their heroes are not good at pushing. You get the kill there on the Earthshaker, you're not really... Uh, yeah, you're not hard. maybe getting game objectives, but I still think it's fantastic to make sure he's completely shut down, you know. He's a hero that, he's in this lane to get levels and maybe a tiny bit of farm. Not being able to get either will just really knock him out of the game yeah. for a while. He doesn't have a good catch-up mechanic. That's true. Uh, I mean, Earthshaker's really just... Are, I, I'm not sure games or... He has a lot of... Oh, Madara knows where... Yeah, they would need a little bit of help yeah, to actually go try and dive this. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, Sonic Wave on Madara. I oh, good kill you. Bag. Wow. Fire army, saving man. But, oh gosh, that top, we've got Dazzle caught out at no man's land. He skills the shallow grave, but he, he, oh, he does actually use it to yeah, delay the kill. Out, out, no, it's never. too late. Oh. Dazzling no more. Yeah. Well, um... Being an aggressive forward there and getting punished. So, pretty much that story right there. And uh, solo, got a chance. Why not? Yeah, I think that's always a really smart thing to do. So, now with that help with the kill, Skylock getting better levels than he was uh, before. I'm getting dove. Okay, I'm not sure. Thing. Uh, gonna uh, get I think there. a Mag. little bit of extra damage. They have Sonic Wave. He's oh, gonna go. Oh, Enchant Totem! Sonic Wave, it, it's enough. So, in Chant Totem, I think the right thing to do there, unfortunately, as we pointed out, he just didn't have enough. But it was a good attempt, and he's wasting a lot of their time. It's not, I mean, kills better than farming creeps, but at the same time, Quop could have been doing both, theoretically, and now she might be in the danger zone if Lena just gets her with a Dragon Slave. A few uh, auto attacks. Solo she looking for but not gonna find it, and I have this. Shinrum Solo. Oh, really trying for this. Uh, he's not gonna that, so. Fortunate for him, uh, could have been a perfect snipe. Getting a solo that on a nope, not gonna be the Solo's case. Yeah, level five Dyer's though, he is doing really well. I mean, that double oh, kill, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you expect and the uh, pulling that's been happening uh, has been pretty on point. And now, with the Earthshaker follow up, they could get a kill down there. Oh, man, there we go. But they see you. There could be a charge coming in, but I don't think it's a good idea. Madara charges more. This is a big. Right now, Alice, they come in. They have to feel Lennon. They get him, and the Ember Fred is here. He changed. Bye, sir. Solo picks him off, and now. Gank will TP away. The Nightbreaker is going to be on the hill. Get him, guys. Get him. And there we camping up top. But, yeah, uh, for now fine. it's 500. Oh no, the courier's gonna see him. Dyer's middle tower Does he have anything? Oh, no, he doesn't have a TP. Him. The courier saw him. So we might see who's gonna charge away. I was gonna say the saving grace for Golden Boys in this previous engagement oh, was the shadow. Oh, I thought he was charging creep wave. He might just try to walk it off, but no. He should be fine. I, I think the saving grace in that entire team fight. so I don't know if you saw the rotation, but no one actually attempted to go top. He was looking for a gank on Skylock, but Skylock was like chilling here because he was scared. So, at the whole SF uncontested in mid for a while, he's certainly uh, topping the network shot. We saw the early mech being good. Oh gosh, there's a snowball coming out. There's gonna be the Spence. He's gonna try to TP out today if anything. They stop uh -huh. it with a nightmare and Pasha Bosh. He's in a lot of trouble. He does have a lot of armor though, but Screen doesn't care about that. A few more auto attacks. He's like a truck. The charge should get it. Trucks. Yeah. Has many doors. But yeah, uh, that's a good flash. It took a lot to uh, I thought they wouldn't need to wave there, but 
Uh, they do get it pretty cleanly, I'd say. Uh, no TP rotations for that kill. Uh, yeah. There'll be space made for Vega. Radiant That's a big kill on their core. Under fire. Yeah. Um, the Shoran other nice thing I was going to say before the fight broke out, just having the early mech, we saw how impactful it was last attacked. game for Golden Radiant's Boys. Bottom tower is being it feels attacked. like it's something they could potentially do it again. They just have to be careful. Like last time, it felt like they overextended one bad team fight and they were on the back foot again. So Keezer <laughs> needs to make sure he's constantly farming, even if they're getting objectives, because sometimes, you know, you go. Keezer was for... doing it. Yeah. They just lost. Radiant's bottom tower under fire. Yeah. It, so. it just took. Might have to come up. Uh, Ember Spirit without a backup rep. Does he have a backup? Yeah, he does. Radiant's bottom tower yeah. is being a charge very hard to... boot away. Yep. Should be very hard for him to be picked off. He's also got a bracer probably building into that zip, drum. Zip, zip. Yeah. Yeah, he knows he knows it's not gonna connect because he can get the return kill most likely. So in the meantime, mid, looking like it's in a spot of danger. I feel like both teams content to sit back and farm a little bit. I'm also wondering if Lena might be their mech carrier this game, just because she can flash farm. Uh... Oh, solo. I think I think Skylar wants someone. Yeah, he wants some charge coming in. There's gonna be here yeah, and solo can flash right away. The LSA don't put it in the hook. And solo kill hit by Skylar. Good so the... over their structures. Yeah. The charge actually went through mid lane, so I was a bit surprised she didn't know, but they get the tower using the nightmare, and now no one he's in a bit of a pickle. He takes a bit of the wrecking soul. They'll just kill off Dazzle. Um, of course okay. no one can remnant away. Do they know where no. so. Bottom. Uh, yeah, once again, we are going to be the lead here in this early phase, and they're going for the spread. And this time, he... But, yeah, uh, he should be putting one up. No. Ring, oh, no, they're going in. And they're going to pull the rest of the whole on in now. Full as well, Skylark is caught out. God's strength for you. Over. Dragon Slave will get. Solo gets that uh, much needed revenge here and already hitting level, nearly level 7 on his leader. Yep. Very well done. I don't know where he finds it. He's been jungling. He's got middle cards taking damage. Up wizard last hit. Yeah, getting himself Lina up the yules. Um, Early yules. Big. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, what's I don't know the cost point on Snowball, but I don't think you can. Snowball dodge that. Either way, it was really ambitious of Golden Boys there to try to dive a tier or go for a fight so close to the tier one. You know, Without TP rotations will come in. Yeah. Radiance bottom tower right. under fire. I think that was, uh, like you said, very ambitious. So, a little bit of a dangerous boy to play since Dyer's it throws a little bit of their early lead, but they should still be okay. And Tusk looks like he's working on a glimmer cape. So, I do like that. I feel like there's a bunch of things that can kind of just help you reduce some of the damage you're going to be taking. Dyer's but in bottom, no one looking for something on this bottom Radiant's lane. He's about to have Earthshaker here. That should set up an damage. easy searing chain. Uh, he's just going to use the Spider it. Fist to do it. Where's the Fissure coming out, though? There should be a charge away. Yeah, he's going to get it. Where's the Fissure? Oh, there it goes. And maybe next him. time, he's oh, very, very oh, dead. Get him 17% there. Yeah. Got him at 17%. Should have put him really low. But, uh, yeah, not gonna get that, and they get a free cow. So, that's a big bonus to them. Pasha, does he go for the blink again, do you think? Oh, uh, Siva Slayer, poor guy. Uh, I think he saw that this time. Seat. Back up one. Radiant Coming in. Salva from Skylark. They're going for the haste and shadow fiend. Coming in, that poor Siva Slayer. He's just trying to do his SP. As all get some raise, does he? Brave off. And now the sleep creep. Oh, the solo, the shots oh, come out, the solo getting picked off by the Shadow Fiend, Urshek going down as well. It's coordinated by him from Vega. Down. He doesn't have a- where's his remnant again? He does get the Searing Chains, but now it's on cooldown, there could be a charge onto no one, but nobody's waiting for this, so Spirit Breaker's just gonna... Just gonna watch him. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fight, I think he wants to fight this. Oh, yeah. I don't think Spirit Breaker wants to fight this. Oh, oh. How nice did... job. TP out he should be fine. Done. Yeah. Should have got the remnant, I think. Uh, should have heard it. Yeah, he... he... The I think he wasn't 100% you... sure that everybody was bottom because of the two supports hiding in the trees. Yeah, I mean, Over here. Charging up with that TP. Yeah, no. Oh, mid is Echo slap. Goodbye, Kiza. Getting caught, though, Mag. No vision now. He's run away. Oh, Omadara gets that kill. And the hate's not gonna be enough. That main elemental getting another kill. The Ember Sprint dipped out bottom. He's out of remnants again. No, he just now, got one back up. He's gonna go down. Yeah. He's again just overextending. 
Yeah, I think. Two minor. And that's another kill for Vidara. This is four, six, and I'm not sure they might be able to come back from this one. The last game, maybe they do. Uh, Pasha seems to be going for something different. Oh, more Blink Dagger, more Master Yeah, I think... Helm of the Dominator certainly can help accelerate his farm. He also built differently last game. He didn't get cleave until later. He went Warcry early on. They're about 7.5 thousand ahead on Golden Boys. It's getting, as you said, to the point where you're a bit worried. The Shadow Fiend is approaching Snowball territory. You know, it's 14 minutes in. He's going to have Sanjan Yasha up very soon at this rate. Um, might be a BKB this game, just because it's a really nice BKB. And it does feel like no one just playing a bit too aggressively. He's constantly without remnants in a lot of his engagements. Uh -oh. Oh, I don't know if you go on. Okay, they decide to back out. Maybe Frederick next time's a bit ham. Damn it, you're right. But Mag, no. oh, top lane. Oh, Mag, Madara is gonna find it with the dagger. Not going for gonna it. Happen, not gonna happen. I'm a little bit surprised she didn't go for it. I feel like she could have opened and Skylock would have gotten into position with the snowball. Beautiful but maybe, yeah, because the tier two is so close. Map is pretty bright. Quite a bit of vision. Yeah. Checking out the locations. Uh, the key They're getting tree blocked a little bit. That one in mid. Um, I think a little bit more to the left, just slightly better. But we have it maybe on mid. Let's see if Queen of Pain can do anything. He has a remnant up, so it's not going to be easy. And they don't. Oh, maybe they're probably like remnant right wing. Oh, oh. No, yes. that was that's actually awesome. really cool. He used the slide of fist in an attempt to dodge the snowball, and it did the funky. I roll wherever I want. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pasha now gonna get a lot of farm there from Ancients as well. We're going to build towards a tankier build, I think. Oh no, they're going with the Glimmer Cape. He saw it because of this ward. Cape gonna be doing that. And the Spirit Breaker is still charging. No one, no buff this. Zara still smoked up. It was that no one's in the area right now, but this is some dangerous place. That's it's put. What? Yeah, it's nighttime. They, so they are lucky. just out of vision. <laughs> and a creep. So Sola now knows he's in the danger zone. Oh, no. TP. Oh, what? Surely he knows. Didn't he see them on the creepers? I think he's just like, what? I'm gonna die. Okay, I think I think he thought he was gonna die either way there. Um, but that TP kind of indicates he wasn't. So maybe he didn't somehow notice. Mag clearly did because of his positioning. So I mean, the queen just... was in. In the wave, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just a bit of a miscommunication between players. It happens to the best of us. Queen of Pain actually going BKB first item. We don't see this often. She is sick and tired of that Light Strike Array and Fissure combo. There are too many. Um, KB first. Uh, really limits up potential. You run out of mana. You run out of a lot of things. Uh, but if you can get some good fights with the B Yeah. Die. KB, you really set his. Uh, you got a knife that didn't do you. Yeah. 10 second charges that you need. Chain's gonna miss. But and he's got backup. Oh. Yeah, not gonna Just happen. Um, on, the, the, route, so. on the other hand, on the side up of Vega, they're about to get blinks on both Pasha Bashu and Mag. So you're gonna have that one big team fight with both Earthshaker and Sven having a blink. That can just, that can really get you a good lead. And they're charging no again on no, no one. one. Does he no one. Oh, they're going in. He yep. does have a remnant away. So he's just not able to get much farm here. And he actually Ready. doesn't have enough mana for TP right now. Yeah, but you don't want to use the regen guys. and then TP. You want to be able to regen and farm a bunch, so. Kind of this. Yeah, it's a little scary. No, so. it's not open here. Yeah. All right, so he has the TP, but yeah, the fight will be going. Here. And the Ghost Strike has been activated. The Glick Tagger as well. Target fights the chain damage. Chain there and a good follow up as well. He's down the slow ball. Won't save. Won't save. He's down the bastard. So the heavens will go in there. Guys up. And it's just in time to go down. Then the strike will come. And it will be enough damage. Enough. No, not enough. And it's not more than kill. Zemo Slayer will have to break himself. Buy some time for that dazzle. Dazzle builds up out the top. top tower is under I'm not sure this is the best thing to now. No, no one got it caught up. Good chain. Down and out, maybe. But down there. Minus armor. Very big damage from power. Back in again. Good idea. No one. Turn on the ammo shield. And he's just going to right click on him. Hats that beacon. Well, so. Dished out a lot of 
Uh, a lot of damage. Oh, they're going for the charge on no one again. They cancel it. And they're going to be TPs in. They should be able to get this tower, but they glip it. We've got a lot of folks coming back in in Golden Boys with BKBs Shaker. being down on Quap. They don't want to be here. So. I was in it. They got that. Oh, they got that. Oh, they, they got that. Siege. KB, um, activations, but they didn't get anything out of it. They didn't get yeah, they didn't, is being um, if they didn't finish the tower there, it's Radiant's really painful. So that's unfortunate for them. The yeah, so unfortunate for Golden Boys, but again, just showing that Vega, despite being pretty far behind, still pretty confident in this game. And Ember Spirit's going to be having Battle Fury up. He also went Phase Boots, um, so another game where we don't see the bots rush. I think it's fine either way, you know, um, but. We're going to be seeing a Battle Fury maybe a bit earlier than usual just because he did skip over the bots, so... It, yeah, uh, the face boots... I, I really love the face boots. Fast enough. We have a smoke coming in. I don't know if Solo is going to be caught here. You can do it. Deals. Oh gosh, Skylock sees him? Deals. 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 He's going to save his life. Solo. I have all the damage, my friend. We force out a spell. Killing And as they wait the KB was popped there for a single LFC. For a single LFC stun. So Madara really eating through those KB charges and not yeah. to have it for the fight. Uh, Solo doesn't have buyback, but we are in 30 seconds. They might forfeit the Dyer's tower. They probably will. I don't think pushing into this is a good idea. SS Dyer's the middle tower is now. Uh, I think the that. biggest. Oh, I think the biggest thing, like you mentioned, is Madara is getting a really low BKB because of this. He's being very liberal with it. I feel like he is doing the right thing because if he didn't pop that, Sven would have flunked in and started bashing on him. But it's just really rough because since he got the BKB first item, he's going to have a five second one at about 30 minutes into this game. And you don't want that against it. Yeah. KB stun. You're just going to. You slow down your orchid. Getting orchid later on is. There are more answers to it already. Uh, yeah, he'll have I, to go Ag's sheep stick if going, he does want. He's going though. Oh. Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm a little eh on the fence if this. He has to farm it up. Like another. Yeah. Man gets his KB. Uh, Mantas come out. I don't know. Like, you Scepter's already done on leader. I don't know why. They would... uh, oh, they're trying to use. No, he cancels it. He cancels it, so. Um... Wait for it. Yeah. Have been game ending for. And they're going for the early Roshan, they can do this with Presence of the Dark Lord and the Sigil, and it's gonna be... Yeah, they actually purchased one up on Spirit Breaker, but he's not here, and they know on um, Vega. They pinged it out. I don't think they 100% are sure, but they have a good idea. They have good vision, though, but they won't see the smoke, oh, so the smoke is gonna pop. Oh, oh no. He doesn't... 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 Swordsman, but this is enough. The other swordsman tears them up and assaults. Not enough. Punch. Down goes. Not a quick coming in, though. Madara. Way too late. Oh, he will get Seema to play. That's good bonus. Okay. Skylar there on his Tusker, but does he blink away in time? No, it's not going to be the case. And Pasha uh, trying to seek out a new target, but doesn't find it. And they go in there to check it. Hey, Roche. Let's go in and grab that 3,000 health. I think we get that, Sylvan. And Sven, maybe, I don't know, drop Remnant in, so they're going to keep tabs on Roshan for now, but apart from that, I think good team fight, you know, great accuracy to there from Mag and... A little bit unfortunate that Golden Boys didn't expect that, I feel like it was very obvious they went to Roshan just with the movement and all of them being off the map, they might still be able to get it, but with the Remnant it's really rough, and again, their window for getting it has to be now. They have to go before the Echo Slam is back off cooldown. So if they want it, they have to fight now, but they might fight into a Storm Hammer, into t two remnants at this point. It's not easy. Yeah, it, it kind of hurts, and uh, those. those SF has, uh, has been holding onto that BKB charge for 10 seconds. <laughs> And he got off a pretty big Requiem of Souls last fight, but here it comes, here comes the team fight, they don't have Echo Slam. Kills, but Pasha, man, that Sven is working up for some people play sets and heroes, and Sven seems to be the that Pasha loves to play. And uh, they'll get a tier one tower at the end of this. 
fortified. Do as you please with that information. So, yeah. So what happened there? It felt like it was a miscommunication between Golden Boys about whether they go in or out. Because while the tough went in, the Queen of Pain followed. Shadow Fiend was taking the Aegis, and he went to fall. No, he was trying to play Oh, okay. So so, Madara had blink. SF couldn't run out. Yeah. So that, was, that was really good for Max. So, really unfortunate there for SF. He's get, also getting put back because he went to BKB on the summon of Yasha. I don't think they can do anything here, but they go in on Fiona's player. Here comes Kiza, but the Fissure again stopping them. Yeah, they'll get this Dazzle, but that's not what they want. They wanted something bigger. So, really unfortunate again there for Golden Boys. Maybe they can. This net worth growth as well. It's trending back down towards zero because, again, just a couple one fights from Vega and 7.5k gold lead. It's gone. has four staff now, so his reach for the Yakuza Slam is going to be a lot bigger. Yeah. Oh. It's rough here if you are Golden Boys. I feel like, again, they got off to a good start, but Vega just showing their experience, and they're going for a charge onto the Sven. He can, of course, blink away, and there's a tier 2 up, so they'd have to be really lucky with this. They have the Nether Strike, and just cancel the charge. Yeah, and he's got a full BKB now on the Sven. I mean, he... Has Let's a 10 second BKP. Got bin and lock him down, but he'll take no magical damage. Yeah. And uh, then how do they burst him? Yeah, SF, he doesn't. He's hitting He's hitting for a good amount, but it's not awesome. And there's going to be another team fight. Echo Slam. Uh, I got a call. Yeah. Damage on the Yemen Spirit. They might not fight this. Here comes your Shadow Feet. Shadow Feet, can you catch him? Just to miss all the Just to miss fight once again. And uh, I'm just. He didn't. No, no this could be aimed to do Rex and first Rex of game two. I don't think they'll. Yeah, I don't think they'll get Rex. I think they'll get a tower just because it's early on. The Dazzle and the Lena will be back. They've got good wave clear. But I, that point, team fight, it looked like I don't know what blocked up Mag. I think the Queen of Pain jumped in aggressively and screamed, stopping him from blinking. Yeah, it actually might be Rex. I'm really surprised. This. I didn't expect. That they would be able to get the bounce of balls. Yeah. Oh. But it's but not lost yet, but yeah. gotta be better. But Earth Shaker now has four stop blink dagger, so yeah, they rightly realize they need to get out. Kiza will make it out. It looks like maybe next time will too. So a nice little escape there. But wow, a really good team fight. And I have to say, I don't know if you saw, but Quap was almost dead. The Requiem of well, she was getting close to dead. She's at like half health. She can't move. There is the god strength on Sven, so she's gonna take like two more hits and die. And then the Requiem of Souls comes out and it buys her enough time to get her blink on cooldown again. And it's just little things like that with the damage reduction where it just it really yeah, won them the fight. Jumping ASF was not... Maybe we're gonna bust him with that. They were trying to get that uh, timing window there for 5 seconds. Yeah. Ages and then back off for... ...boards while the, uh, there's a hole in their front line, but... With the Glimmer Cape with the... ...hole, there's no... ...ASF down. Now with the Blink Dagger, it's gonna be even harder. Yep, so... Uh, at the same time, as you said, one racks down. We've got a Sven on one of the teams. He, he can handle a little bit of a little bit of supers. He's a All big right, let's guy. Not, let's not let's not stain that hundred percent of the Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see if they found a way to deal with this. And Madara, really far up. I also have to say, oh gosh, Madara, Blink maybe not where you want to be. Forward. This war is going to. Oh, oh they cheated. This is the echo slamming. This queen of pain alive. Who has to play? Okay, four stops. There's no call. The Platypus misses. Well played, Madara. Well played. Uh, we're we're gonna pretend. I don't think he actually um knew he was seen in there. I think he was just trying to be sneaky and push out the lane. But uh, he actually just baited out an Echo Slam, so they could continue to finish up bottom lane. Or as you can see, they ping out another tower to push because they're like, guys, we've got a no Echo Slam window. Echo Slam with a zero cost point, even if he doesn't get a big damage Echo Slam, it can just lock down some of those key heroes in Golden Boys. So knowing it's not there, you're like, great guys, let's push, let's go do something stupid. Yeah. Uh, well, at least he's uh, BKB now officially five seconds. <laughs> oh, well, jumps away. Spirit Breaker charging again. He has Polo Crest, so that's pretty huge. For the DSF is going to be heavily buffed. They need someone. And I'm not sure Sven's in the, in the right state of mind to shut him down. 
There's a lot of kiting on him. He's also super tanky. This SF has Thank 2k you. health, like... Money to burn. And do you Damn. think that's a Scotty? It's probably a Scotty. So, yeah, I, you would need a huge slam, but of course they don't have it. I think they're just going to give up the tier 2. Makes a lot of sense. They're not in a great position to fight. They have better base hold. So a nice free tower for Golden Boys. And I also wanted to mention this Tusk's Glimmer Cape doing work. I also don't know if you saw that last fight. It was what helped Keezer get away in the fight down here. It's actually why you see sentries all over the place, because they were looking for Glimmer Cape. So. And Lena, two, uh, three fourths of the way to her axe. Oh, actually, just chilling here with Pasha Bashu. She's gonna. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. You know, um, was... They're on bottom. They're TPing out. Is Pasha Bashu gonna come home? Okay, yeah, there we, there we go. For now, no one trying to keep them out of the base. And then with that wave clear, they should be able to hold the tower, and the wave is pushing. So they have made them. Least. Yeah, you're in a pickle here, I feel, for Golden Boys, because your Aegis is expired, you're waiting on the next one, but you really want to take advantage of the weakness right now of Vega, so you're not quite sure. And we're actually only at a uh, 7.5 thousand net worth difference and 5 thousand experience, so it's not, it's still within the range where a couple good team fights for Vega, if you miss push that high ground, Vega's right back in it. Yep. Yeah. I, I think it's, uh, it's safe. Back, you know, you don't have to really force anything. The late game looks good for them. They have good lockdown. Uh, they have the, the appropriate. Oh, yeah, there's a blink on Tusk. Point. He could war. Oh, they can punch can... him. It's time to punch him. Get 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 him. That was actually beautiful. Like you said, the chain stunning right there. Again. Yeah. So. He just power. Get the buyback. Yeah, they still. Oh, solo. Solo. TP now. Solo. Solo, 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 solo. Yeah, Fountain TP is always good. But yeah, as you said, this could be at least a tower. It might even be Rax. You still have to be careful of Echo Slam. There's a lot of damage coming out on Sven. So, yeah. They'll figure it out really soon, though. Although it gets hard to tell if someone has buyback, right? When the time is at like 25 like this, you just think that they're holding for it and you're never uh, sure. But so they're gonna put some damage. Oh, nice full stop. Oh, they lock him oh. in with the vision. This could be big for that being sneaky. Just getting caught out now. Back up the stun. But a glimmer kept doing so much work. They sleep him. The dialogue coming in there. The big spend that. Yeah, no, no. Dialogue will bail out. And that's the game. It's never the bag. Down low. Get in there. Just face time. Hard shot. But it looks like he can't catch him. That's crack. It was getting wrapped up. Up and out. Getting by next break. He was still like, what? You will get by back. He does not. Very low, they're gonna find him the Laguna Blade. Oh, is it gonna be enough, man? One second, the they try and keep them alive. Looks like they'll set. Okay, and another kill. Will they get that kill? No, no, slap. Oh, he's getting caught next to the MVP. That's gonna be a full team wipe with Skanks. Trying to run away, he glimmers. Can't see, but Arrow's uh, not running. Not running at all. There's your chop. And a pause. Solo. Can't question. <laughs> No, I think they're having um, maybe connection issues. It's and yeah. that's what we're talking about. Even without the Ember, they managed to buy enough time for the Ember to get up there. And I think they should have really, on Golden Boys, backed out. You just wait for the Roshan. Unfortunately, it's a really long spawn time. It's almost max. But you can't play like that. They probably lost at least five thousand gold in this team Mag, fight. But Mag, Mag was uh, yeah. Start, let's break down that fight again. That's the force that Shadow Fiend into the base. Shuts him down with the pressure. Four tasks will go out of position. Save him. And then, as they will retreat, another fissure locks the tusk and let them go in. And then when they try and build tusk out, he goes taking out the queen, the, the spirit breaker, and then they go pull off with the rest of their heroes. You know, Amber Spirit, Lena, Dazzle. Graves just buying enough time to all that. And I, I thought they were going to step fight up down, but I think Mag played perfectly. Even stopping that sh That was great. Yeah. Full team wipe. So, really well done. And we can look at the net worth chart just going all the Got way it. down. So, um... 
I think they have to be very careful about this next Roshan as well, though, because Roshan Pit Fight seems to, again, be something that's very much in Vega's favor. So you've got to play this one super carefully in this upcoming oh, tournament. Oh, they're jump away again. They're... Not punished this time. He's not really no remnants, though. So. He didn't have remnants just now. He could always have one case, I feel, especially with Spreaker. Go. Either way, Pashu Pashu continuing to get bigger. Looks like he's building up that AC. Going to be a nice way to get rid of some of the rec uh, presence of the Dark Lord action going on. And uh, same with the Sedleia. Dazzle has a lot of gold here. I'm not sure if that's like a blink so that he can blink, blink in shallow grave someone. Like, I don't know why he has so much gold. Nope, Dazzle. it's just going to be full Vlads. Uh, yeah, soul Crest, Vlads, medallions. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's just, he's bought up most of the parts of the Vlads, but I don't often see, you don't often see supports save up so much because you're afraid of dying, but I think in this case he was maybe holding for buyback and then deciding, nah, Vlads is more powerful. I really yeah. had to shut up. On that support, farming and yeah, sometimes getting destroyed for it, but he just managed to farm his Eul, Agon Scepter, and with not that many kills. He didn't yeah. really get that many kills, he's died a lot, but he's gotten the core items required for this, and a bash you on... So, nice, easy, Roshan. Easy double damage, And they already do have top tower down a little bit, so if they work on that... Also, we didn't maybe call it, but the bottom range Drax was lost as well in that engagement. So this is always something to be present. If Golden Boy slow sieges, Vega just needs to keep committing someone to the bottom lane. Otherwise, they get damage on the tier fours. Yeah. So just the, it's the little things which are in favor for Golden Boys. And if they can capitalize on this, they might be able to take us to a game three. Yeah, it's uh, it's up to Vega to pile on the pile on the space. You know, that's what they need to do. Just space it up. You know, push up the waves, like you said, and uh, try and draw. Uh, pass to the map that that isn't your top. Level. Just uh, pull GB away from your base as much as possible. Stall off that fight. Very doable. And, and this is where the bots really become very valuable for an Ember Spirit. When you yeah. need to buy time like this, having bots being so mobile because of course you can bots, you can remnant, you can just be all over the map, it's really helpful. Fortunately, it doesn't have it, but we, that's what you'd normally see as you said in other games where Ember would just be pushing up a lane, botting somewhere else, pushing out that lane, and we've got the Slow Siege coming out top. They're actually gonna back a little bit. The thing is that they're not good with Slow Siege. Last time they tried Slow Siege... Well, they're the destroyed. Aegis this time. I feel like it's a little bit easier to... Work on it, but you're right, it's still really scary playing up like against if, an Oath Speaker. Yeah. You have your bin out of action, so you can't have those shutdowns happening. You have your Tusker having to pop aggressively into the fight. And Ember Spirit loves it when you come to him. Yeah. He, knows, he knows how to just dance around you. And he, when you go in so far in, uh, you have a lot of trouble because there is a spec jump you anytime, and you are going into that base, not coming Speaking out of where going there's in, a lot Ember less Spirit. Space. So they're really unlucky here. There's a ward right here. It's just outside of the sentry for um, Golden Boys. So Vega, they think that they had good vision on the hill. And Searing Chains does latch, but again, this is Aegis on Shadow Fiend. I feel like if they don't get something done here, they're wasting time. Unfortunately, they're also out of smokes on Golden Boys. So yeah, it looks like they might just opt to back up and farm. They really need a pick off. And it's very difficult because there are no tier twos. They know that Vega's, Vega's not stupid. They're very experienced. They're not going to come out of their base and get smoked. So. Unless they manage to find Pashu Bashu somehow, they're probably gonna have a lot of trouble seeding high ground. That's exact. To the split farm. And uh, fast, especially when he's farmed up. Now picking up that Hyperstone, it's very likely gonna be a Sword Curas, but I would love to see a shot. Does add a lot of attack speed. Especially now that that's so cheap. By two Hyperstone. Yeah. Uh, solo. Oh, no, 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 not like this. No, 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 solo. So, oh, nighttime vision. Use up the. Okay, this could be a bad fight for Permit to this. Back, do they get him out of there? Time so low. So oh, he's now back to oh. the right side. How do they get out of here alive? Oh, man. Really unlucky Look, that they didn't catch that. <laughs> and as you mentioned before, if they can kill off Mag, you just need one almost, and Vegas. 
character. Even with buyback though, you force him to use that, you're probably content with that exchange. It just puts the game more in your favor for Golden Boys. And so now they have to go back to slow sieging, but this Aegis, it's got one and a half minutes. So Golden Boys, they have to be very careful with this push. Even a slow siege might take that long. And oh, uh, look again, Mag is positioning himself. He's ready to force stuff. Keys are in and block him. So they have to be very careful. They don't have a ward on the high ground of close to the sentries and oh, force stuff away. Forced. Okay. Uh, the and he turned around and lost. No, oh, there is. Hey, Mansha locks him out. You need to lock out again. They have to get into the. Your spirit breaker wants to take his charge for a full target, not just entering the base. Uh, this could be bad if they. Mech has already been. And they're just buying time. This Aegis is about. Uh, this and he'll be gone. Now, oh, another pause. Yeah, it looks like Vegas having quite Next. a few trouble. Yeah, this is not the first pause, so. But, gonna be good. So. Alright, so. Any predictions on how this fight gonna go down? Um, I think that it's really hard for Golden Boys. We've talked about, you know, I think we've talked it, about it a lot. A lot of it comes down to who gets the first jump. I feel like if Vega jumps in before BKBs come out, right, Golden Boy's dead, but if they get the BKBs off, then Mag has to wait at least five seconds to use that Echo Slam, at least on those primary targets. And in that case, they should, Golden Boys can put out a shit ton of damage in five seconds. Requiem of Souls, uh, Sonic Wave, a couple razors, like, you, you, maybe you even use your Bane's Fiend's Grip on someone, like, there's... If folks are BKB'd up, Vega's in trouble. Um, so, it'll be interesting. Alright, so we're gonna go into the fight again. Steam as Slayer. Once uh, again, as we even cool down, sports. go. And, uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, yep. They're gonna go in again. Mag has ready for him. He has got Yule Scepter to cancel out any kind of shenanigans that Madaro might have for him. He's the enemy. Oh! Now the force to the mid. They actually jump up. Madaro, very aggressive force. Okay. the entire lineup and that we doing what of course shadow fiend does have a talisman of evasion and they have the solar crush up on spirit breaker but evasion ig you cleave ignores evasion so both the bat the ember spirit with the crits and the sven with his uh de huge damage both of them having cleave your evasion not as good as it once was and again as we talked about they and got what damage yeah they got what seemed like a good jump on golden boys i actually really like that queen of pain came in after SF was miss, you know, he was, his positioning became bad, Queen of Pain came in to back him up, but not being able to secure the kill onto Mag, they silenced him up because they didn't really want to take the Echo Slam, but then that just meant Dazzle Shallow graved him. It feels like there's a lot of targets they need to lock down on Golden Boys, and actually, looking like Bane may be in a pot of trouble, he does pop that Glimmer Cape, and he's gonna be fine. Yeah, the thing is that they blew everything on the Earthshaker, they used Sonic Wave on the Earthshaker, they were so afraid, but Graved just bought him enough seconds. Echo Slam, and he even bought back Invisibility doesn't buy back in that fight, but uh, yeah, that that was used everything on the earth. Yeah, I mean, the two balls on Vega are not to be on Ember Spirit and Sven are when oh, in the top lane, Pop is stalking so Solus. He can open up here, he does have Yules, but Pop isn't using the orchid, so Yules is off to Pop, and now Solus just dead. So that's what Pop was actually waiting for. She wanted to make sure the Yules was used on one of them so that she didn't just orchid and then immediately have the silence purged. And a nice little pick there on Solo, but in mid lane, it looks like, well, what are you doing, Sven? You're just way up. He knows that the stunner's done. He has no, nothing to be afraid of, and uh, he's making more space, you know, pushing up those lanes. Always keep these lanes pushed, and. Uh, GP have um, to wait really long for the creep wave to push in. That's the thing, you, you said long pushes you the wave to push in the bottom with the racks advantage to yeah. see up damage, but with the waves pushed out so hard thanks to spend so long, and then as a result they already lose their advantage like ages big at the farm, and after a certain second day, or second battle 3 comes 
lot of problems with his. Oh, yeah, also Scotty. when Sven gets his crit, Sven is already killing them off with just God's strength. When Sven has a crit, it's going to be really hard for Golden Boys. They're going to need Ghost Scepters, I feel, and it's just, it's rough. So, either way, uh, Golden Boys having a bit of a rough time. They really need to get a pick outside of the base. We already talked about how difficult it is without Smokes and with the positioning Vega playing really well, making sure that they're not dying, you know, all over the place. Yeah, Lena fell on top, but as we saw, nothing amounted to that. And, um, I don't know, Golden Boys may have to start doing some of these, uh, split push attempt strats. Get themselves back in. You know those, uh, we push around the map, maybe get some Necro Creeps up? It's... Necro it's... Maybe not. I, I guess... The thing is that... You don't have... It's already reached that late game. You don't want to waste that valuable item slot on a Necro book, and... You're feeding a lot of gold. I don't think... I don't think Necro... But split push, yes. Yeah, Definitely. I mean, you, you there's just get, a like, lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of different itemization options for that. And Queen of Pain finally has her Aghanims up. She needs a Hex now. And this is what we were also talking about with the Orchid. If she had the Hex earlier, it's of course much better than the Orchid. You can Hex up. It's just and more powerful. It can't be purged up. You can't have the unit exactly. rules themselves. And then look at Vega Jam of Truth Sight going out there, trying to seek out any of GB's vision and lock them out. And now maybe they go for the Spirit Breaker. Do they have the boots for this? They go for the vision, the lock the vision, and chance of the They miss it. Keep murdering. I am driven. No, but at the same time, they just committed the Echo Slime, and here comes the return kills. Hashi is in that gold strength. The silence on Dazzle, making sure he can't just save someone. That's a free kill. And maybe. Might lose more heroes, more star fisher. Might out of position okay. here, and they will. They find him. Catch him is with Skylar. Waiting in the wings there. We're looking for a counterplay. But um, does he find it? And we'll like to get out there in time. And yeah, I feel like it's so hard to be a big. Yeah, I mean, it's a hero that's all about positioning. It is a bit rough against Vega. I think the larger problem being that Vega's been doing a fantastic job of playing back. You can do stuff that kind of in negates your Fiend's grip, you know, with stuff like Shallow Grave. It's similar to when you're playing against a Winter Wyvern and you're the Bane, and, you know, they just cold embrace the target you Fiend's grip. It's like, great, where's the damage coming from? So, either way, yeah, both teams know that the Roshan is up, and both teams at this point in the game do it very quickly. So, oh! No one destroying TP, so rude. But we have, uh, it's actually not a smoke rotation. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's not a, a literal. Issue. It's a real issue brought up in a lot of our mental aid. No. A lot of pollutions in the rush pit. 100%. Bunches, full man shield, empty Sven? ball. How these heroes get... Sven may be going MKB, I'm not so sure whether it's crit, but we have... Double smokes, they're gonna run yeah, right into each other, and this is whoever gets the jump. And now we're seeing Dang it's no. Kiza, he's put out of position a little bit, wrestling with souls, but at the same time they've got Shanks on the back line. That's what the hero you want, Mag taking huge amounts of damage, there's a charge but he cancels it! And now Madara, he's getting a pick off, Ember Spirit has gone down, that's a lot of their damage, but Pasha Bashu, he is getting kited with the Scotty! He gets the Shallow Grave, but he doesn't have a way out! And now they're working on the back lines as well, he finally goes to the GP, but it was way too late. There's gonna be a nice Echo Slam, at least they pick off the Bane, but that's not the target you want. And if they successfully win, that. They have buybacks being expended. Ember has already bought back. Skylar's gonna kill off Mag, and even if he doesn't kill off Mag, Mag doesn't have any spells left. He's just going down for one more attack to do it. He blinks away. What? away. what a player! What a player! Oh, he's still in trouble. Oh no! Oh man! Oh my goodness! Uh, MVP, the mouse, whatever. It's going. They hold. Yeah, Madara dying there is really horrible. They can probably still Roshan off of this what? with just the SF, but Madara dying there is a big mistake from Golden Boys. I'm really unfortunate. I oh, he did oh, go to the Shadow Blade. That's cute. Oh. Yeah, it, it's gonna be good. They're not gonna expect it as well. You have a gem with Tusk, I know, so... And I'm Kiza's gonna get caught in the Roshan. So greedy. So greedy. Uh, I don't know. The Echo punished. Slam is down. They... The okay. They're trying to force buybacks as well. I think they really wanted to force Sven's buyback and put him further behind. No one will again try to do some snatching action, just being a bit of a harasser. Skylar, Walrus Punch, do they have anything? Where is the Nether Strike? They have it, but they 
aren't using it. Why is they not using it on no one? Oh, Earthshaker picks up the Aegis in the pit. He's gonna go down, but holy <laughs> cow, Mag. I, I, he oh. got- no, 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 he didn't steal it, because he also killed Roshan. So, oh, wow. oh, so misses on top of him, but they still got him. This is Mag with no buyback, though. Yeah, because of these no But they stole the Aegis. I mean, uh, yes, you stole the Aegis, but Mag is your tower defense. So they're now fighting without Mag. Yes, Radiant you still have a lot of Ember Spirit wave play. You have a lot of damage coming out of Sven, but I, it is I would like hard. to argue that a second SF might be more... We'll see. We'll... I, I, I no, no, no I definitely think it's close. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's still Aegis MVP. Money, you... so. Aegis money. He got Aegis and the kill. I think, I feel Radiant's like Noob from Kuwait needs to do highlight like material. And can they get hope with the top tower? That's the same. The charge in there, they're going to get charged and slammed right away. Radiant's top tower is under siege. He's still looking for heat. The nether strike, they crit him. And then you can get the next Madara there, not a The movie is up there, trouble for you. But now the Red going in, they see the spend right on here. Now the chain's coming in, they take a lot of residual damage here from Emperor's Crit Solo. TP's out of there, it's time. The crit is from the spend. He's getting kite so hard now, the MP is doing some stat, maybe they stab 12 moves. It's brought out by the Slam, a lot of in his face. 25 seconds to bang, he has that echo slam. I feel like this could hide them in the ass and they're not ready. So break it again, the yeah, Emma's very good to strike strike from Solo. The Gubernate Blade as well, Keith, the Gubernate goes down, they fall, that storm hammers in the face, and down he goes. 100 seconds for Skylar, he now finds himself caught out by the Xena. Do they touch him? Get the free touches him in back. And now Skylar running away, poisoned up. He's gonna glimmer away. Do they have a gem though? Do they have a gem? Uh, no, okay, they do not have a gem. Skylar, gonna get caught out there, tries to run away from his. He should be able to blink out of it. Pajos is gonna beat him, there's no more, and punches him in the face, and they lose all the heroes. Down, Earthshaker, and I feel that that age is deep. Uh, they had an issue there where, or just at the very end of that, Skylark should have been able to blink away. You can yeah. blink out a snowball, so I think maybe just, um, not fast enough with the fingers. No, no, you can't. So you can blink out of it though, because it's three seconds, it's enough cooldown. And Bane just being a bit of a pain here, he's gonna TP right out. Nice little play there. Um, they didn't, they did get the tower, at least, for Golden Boys, but as you pointed out, again, they got team wiped, and this net worth shot, it's back down to zero. They actually lost a tier four as well on Vega. So, and their other one is at half health, but... MKB spent. Yeah, it makes sense with all the misjaunt stuff. I also oh, do... Oh, Tarine Lena. I thought it was gonna be a... For the feeding. And, and um, the heals... I feel like the Bloodstone after the nerf, it does make, especially with the way she's playing this Lena, I think it's a little bit better to have the Octarine, because she's really there to try and output as much damage and as many stuns. It LSD. makes you stun more frequently. These team fights have been long, very extended, and also getting two Laguna Blades off in a team fight, it's pure damage. Uh, it, I mean, well, it was pure It's It's Aghanims, so she can use it. I mean, these team fights have been lasting ages. I think she can get it off twice in a team I mean, fight. So yeah. So. I um, think Vegas. Back home. Yeah. Definitely well played from them. Looking at buyback status though, you've got to say that if there's another push, a lot of, well... They don't have their gem now, so Mag and his Shadow Blade. Now see kills, they go in for that, slam your on him. Now he falls out himself, heals himself, beats him to him. Oh, now Sven is here, you come up, you can't destroy Pasha. Bashes them down. Well, where's... Oh, okay, Spirit Breaker for KB. Madara looking for here the Yules. Do the Spirit Breaker just as the tagging gets on the Yama. And the Yama Spirit gonna fight Kiza one on one. They're gonna find it though. He has to travel. No blink, no this. That's KB. So, man, get out of this, I think. Yeah, he should be fine, and he did a good job of deterring the push, right? He also, you can see, in the time that it took Ember Spirit to get up close to the Shadow Fiend, it felt like he would have died, right? He lost half his health from those autos. So a nice job by SF, but again, as we've talked about, they're in a precarious position. I think... Yeah, that's not uncommon at this point in the game. He has to make sure to save for... Back. I do wonder whether he's gonna try to for something like a sheep. Could be cool. Oh, it's an Ags. Is yeah, an ags? I love it. Ags yeah. Still be yes, Aghanims on Azel makes the minus armor so, yeah. so much and the AoE is really huge. So you usually get the bonus. So, and on. Oh, he gave Ember with 
top of that and spend, it's just it's not melt. Yeah, it's definitely one of the better agonims. It's just something that Dazzle can't usually afford with all the support items. But he doesn't even have a glimmer cape this game. Yeah, I'm he just a little bit. The enemy. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised they decided not to put a glimmer on Seema, but at the same time, I can't argue with the Vlad's agonims. He's been doing so much work with just his shallow grave, so it's really nice to see that. Um, and see Dazzle actually have enough farm to get that item. Queen of Pain now, uh, almost about a thousand one hundred gold away from that sheep, and she still has her buyback on cooldown for a while, so she might buy. Oh, actually, only on cooldown for one more minute, so she might not buy out here. But the sheep should help them a lot. It just feels like they need to lock down Dazzle and Earthshaker. But Dazzle's position. Yes. Doesn't have a escape. Yeah, four stars and have a minute. Yes. Just been doing that thing, you know, hiding there, braving all the targets, and getting caught. Solo, please! Doing this! Turn me over. I'm done. Yeah, it's kind of funny. As we mentioned, it, it feels like everybody on. I, I'm not even going to say Solo's playing poorly at all, but he is the only <laughs> one on the team who's been caught out. I think he's been caught out four times in this game in very similar positions. Oh, they're oh. going for Madara again. Oh, the big slap. Madara goes down. They can't swing. Still in the echo. And now Keith will take that huge hit from Pasha. The Scott, you know, is going to be a huge problem there. The grave once again. The last touch. Now you're in trouble. No one going down. Then the visual lines up. Is and they lose three heroes. And Mag even surviving that. Wow. Oh, wow. Three heroes so down. The snowball? Yeah, the snowball was way too late from Tusk. He tried to blink in and save the Queen of Pain at least by some time in the snowball. Came out just a little too late. And then SF came in to try and do some hiding around. But again, as we saw, you just he can't stand up to both of them. And so I think this is a Rax in favor of Golden Rose. Queen of Pain's going to buy back Sonic right? Wave, but he just tickles them at this point. Oh, so there comes a stun. He's a KP. But, um, yeah, it is, uh, I, I don't think Golden Boys have anything to be ashamed of here. As we talked about, they have a very experienced team, and also you've got the fact that you did really well early game. You clearly, like, they clearly have a spot in the game where they're doing well. I think it's just something where Golden Boys needs a little bit more practice taking team fights, a little bit more practice, um, with positioning, so. Yeah, man. Imba Shaker.